He's one of the most notorious killers in Rhode Island history, and Craig Price is making headlines once again tonight. As the Target 12 investigators first reported this afternoon, Price is accused of stabbing another inmate at a Florida prison. It could cause him to stay behind bars for a long time. And new tonight, we're hearing from the former Attorney General of Rhode Island, who worked to keep Price behind bars. Eyewitness News reporter Caroline Goggin is live tonight with the new details. Caroline. Well, Shannon and Mike, Jim O'Neill was only two years into his role as attorney general when he first heard of Craig Price. He said before that he worked as a federal prosecutor for 14 years and he mostly dealt with what he called clean crime. But when he heard about Craig Price, he heard about his story. The story just struck his heart. We're trying to do our best to make sure that he stays in beyond the age of 21. That's as clear as it is. And it's been almost 30 years since former Rhode Island Attorney General Jim O'Neill worked the case of Craig Price. Now 43 years old, Price was only 15 when he confessed to the stabbing deaths of Joan Heaton and her two young daughters. The crime scene was just, just beyond one's imagination, really. That was in 1989. At the time, investigators also uncovered Price stabbed Rebecca Spencer 58 times two years earlier. Because of his age, state law allowed Price to be freed when he turned 21. But after being charged for several incidents in prison, Price still remains behind bars. His conduct since he's been incarcerated he continually demonstrates that he represents a threat to society. In my judgment, he's been involved in numerous, not altercations, serious assaults. The most recent, on Tuesday, prison officials tell the Target 12 investigators that Price stabbed a fellow inmate at a Florida prison. Thinking back on the case and the crime, O'Neill tells us this recent accusation further proves a point he made years ago. I, I try to be even-handed. I'm not a capital punishment guy or anything like that. You know, I'm not one to stand on the top of a soapbox and scream bloody murder. But he's just somebody that has to remain in custody. It's as simple as it is. And the inmate Price stabbed yesterday was taken to the hospital and he is in stable condition. As Target 12 previously reported, Price had 43 infractions while in prison in Rhode Island and in Florida. His Rhode Island sentence was set to expire this October. Reporting live at the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.